Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, and let me be one of the first to congratulate you guys on your brand new Honda Ridgeline RTL. Congratulations. I bet you guys are excited to get in there and get your vehicle settings set up the way you want so when you drive off, you're set for success. That's what this video is about. Let me help you guys out now, so let's get going. All right, so we got the vehicle on and running. We're in park right now, so we can play around with the vehicle settings from here. All right, so we're at the home screen. We're gonna select settings. From settings, we're gonna go select vehicle. All right, then we're gonna start from the top and work your way down. So the first thing that's gonna pop up is gonna be a driver's assist system setup. This is where you guys can customize your Honda sensing features from here. So first thing's gonna pop up there is your forward collision warning distance. So let's go ahead and select that. Now you can choose how soon it's gonna warn you that you're gonna hit something that's in front of you, okay? Um, as you're driving down the road, so like hitting another car, um, hitting a pedestrian or an object, stuff like that, okay? This is just your normal driving, not low speeds of parking lots. So I'm gonna keep it on normal. Now you're gonna have your ACC. ACC is your Adaptive Cruise Control forward vehicle detection beep, all right? So I'm gonna assume you guys know exactly what this is. If not, check out my other video. I also mentioned this in my walk around video too as well. Go back and refer to that, please. Now, this is when it finds a car in front of you. As it slows you down, do you want it to beep at you? Like, beep, you know, I found a car. So at least you're aware, all right? You can turn that on or off. All these beeps, I'm gonna turn them all on, but you guys can choose to turn them all off. That's completely fine. I just want that person to take it off for a test drive these experience tests so you can create an opinion. Now you have your road departure mitigation. So as you're driving down for your highway speeds, you know, you go out of your lane a little bit, whoop, off to the side. Um, do you want it to bring you back and recenter you? You can change the sensitivity on that, all right, between normal and wide, or you can have it's warning only and it won't bring you back. It's just gonna warn you, okay? So I'm gonna hit yes, let's keep it on normal. There we go. Now you have your lane keeping assist suspense beep. So as you go out of your lane, do you want it to uh, beep at you? You know, low soft tone beep. Let's do it. Your blind spot information system. Now I do have a video that shows you this in action. Check it out. Um, so for example, you're driving down the road and a vehicle is in your blind spot. You have a little indicator that's gonna pop up next over here on the side. And then when you have a turning indicator on, it beeps at you, okay? So if you, I can't think of why you wanna turn this off, but you can if you want to. Now that's everything from that point. We're gonna to go to meter setup. And you have language. You have those three options. You may adjust your outside temperature a little more if you want to, fine tune that bad boy. Within a five degree swing either way. Trip A and trip B, you can choose when that automatically resets itself, okay? When do you want that to reset? Then trip B is exactly the same thing. You just can choose, all right? Now you got reverse alert tone. So every time you put the vehicle into reverse, it gives you a little soft tone to let you know, hey, I'm in reverse. I'm gonna scroll down, you can change your speed distance right there. I'm gonna keep it in miles. Now that's everything right there underneath meter setup. We're gonna back out. We don't get your driver's position set up. So now let's say if I show off the car, I'm about to get out, it's gonna move the seat back for me, okay? So that's gonna be pretty cool. And then let's say I jump in the car and I already got my seat uh, setting saved because I have two seat memory. I hit the start button and it just moves it right back to wherever I had the position saved at. So if you don't want that on, that's fine. You can turn it off, but why not? Now this is gonna be for the key fob. As you save your two seat memory, um, you can save those positions according to your key fob because on the back of your fob, let's see if I got it in my pocket. I do. Here it is. All right, so as you can see, you have a driver one, driver two, right there, all right? So that's all that is. We're gonna keep that on. Now, from there, we have your keyless access setup, door unlock mode. So when you walk up to the vehicle, right, and you have the key fob in your purse, your pocket, your jacket, all the doors are locked, you put your hand in the handle, do you want all doors to unlock or do you just want the driver's side door to unlock? Now there's going to be a delay as you put your hand in the handle, all right? Um, so you give you a little visual cues, you know, for someone like me, won't be yanking on the handle. Do you want the lights to flash? Yeah, let's keep that on. And then the same thing, there's going to be a delay. Give them a little audible just in case I don't see the lights flash for any particular reason. I can at least hear the beep. 
Remote start. If you ever want to turn off remote start, you can. Bring the key fob to use the remote start. All you, have, all you have to do is hit lock and hold this button down here for a few seconds. Then it's going to start right up for you, right? Now, this is your walkway auto lock feature. Uh, right now it's off, but if it's on, if you walk away with the key fob, all right, it's in your pocket. You shut the car, you shut the door, you get 10 feet away. Boom, all the doors automatically lock. So I don't have to worry about, did I lock my door? Second guessing yourself. Only negative thing I can think about this is, let's say I've had an enabled, and I always have to get my uh, key hook at home, and the in-laws coming over. I'm not saying I do this, but if I want to hide from my in-laws and act like I'm busy in the garage, um, and I shut the door, oh my jeepers, I have to go in there and hopefully I don't get into a conversation or anything. That's the only negative thing I can think about it, but it's up to you guys. Habits, all right, what works. So I'm gonna enable this, so when I get done with this video, I know the doors are locked, and once we're done test driving. Now, from there, we have your lighting set. Hit enter, light, dimming time. So when it comes into this stuff, and this is when we shot the car, and you shut the door, the driver's side door. Um, you have X amount of time until all the lights, interior lights will turn off, all right? All right, headlights, same thing here. I shut off the car, I shut the driver's side door, and X amount of time, when do you want headlights to turn off? So you probably will increase this if you get home late at night or work late at night, it's not a well-lit area. Just give you a little peace of mind as you see what you're doing for safety, you can increase it. All right, your auto enter sensitivity lights. So when it's on auto, you know what the sensitivity for your lights in here, how soon do you want those to come on or off? All right, so when your headlights are on to auto on the stick um, and you turn on your wipers, your headlights automatically come on. Yeah, on or off. Let's just turn this stuff on, guys. All right, so this is auto light sensitivity. So when you have your headlights on auto on the, you know, stick, um, how soon do you want your headlights to come on or how late? All right, between day and nighttime transparency levels. Now that's everything there from that point. Now we're down to door setup. You have you un so you have a right here, auto door lock. But just by getting into your vehicle, about to show it off to your friends and family. How soon do you want or when do you want your doors to lock? When you get to a certain speed, when you shift from park or have that off and you just hit the button. Now, this is when you just finally arrive to where you're going. So the door is automatically unlocked, okay? Um, first one here is all doors when driver's side door opens up. That also includes the passenger. The passenger over here, you know, if I need to jump out quick for any particular reason, I can't think of a reason, but it will allow me to get out. I don't have to wait for my wife to hit the unlock button, all right? Um, so th this would be a great option for those that travel alone and safety is important to them and they get in a new environment. They can mind the surroundings before they get out. Or unless you like my wife, right here is the second option uh, for all doors when you shift to park because maybe you do a lot of errands and you haul a lot of people around. So when she shifts to park, all the kids can get out to their school events, to school, and everything else from there. Or off when you shut the vehicle, or you have that. So it really comes down to your preference and your style, all right? Now you have the key and remote. So now this is when you do it once, when you hit unlock once. Because if you hit unlock twice, one, two, automatically all doors unlock. So, with that being said, a lot of times people keep it on driver door only, but you can do all doors when you hit all, you know, hit it once, all doors automatically unlock. Now you have the security timer. Let's say if I hit unlock on the key fob and the doors are unlocked now, um, I have 30 seconds at the moment to get out here, open up a door. If I don't open up a door in that X amount of time, boom, all the doors automatically relock just like that, okay? So, Sometimes I talk and get distracted, so let's put it to 60. So this is your power tailgate locking. So I'm gonna enable this bad boy because it's pretty cool. So what this does, that tailgate back there, so every time you lock your car, that tailgate locks up too. So if you have a cover or you, you know, that kind of stuff, at least it's locked, you don't have to second guess. Now we're gonna scroll down to maintenance information. If you have anything that's recommended or anything that requires to get done, it's right here for you guys, all right? Now, once again, if this video was helpful, I did kind of run through this pretty quick, but hopefully it saved you guys time. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best. Don't forget to check out my tips and tricks videos, my walk around videos too as well for more information overload from that point, all right? 
Thank you again, guys, for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.